What's going on guys? Welcome back to Gutter Fighting Secrets. So today we've got a video clip that somebody sent us in. It's a video of a gentleman in Mexico and alleged cartel members are attempting to carjack him and we're going to see what he does to actually evade this situation. Now, whether these are legit cartel members or just a Mexican street gang or just a bunch of kids, uh, actually this is more common in Mexico than you know we might think where actual just kids go ahead and set up like fake roadblocks. And try to target people to rob them, carjack them, or even potentially kidnap them, whether they're, whether or not they're actual legitimate cartel members. I can't I can't verify that or not. But this is very common, so this is one of the reasons we put these travel safety type, travel security type videos out there, so that we can learn from other people's experience. So let's get going with it. We're gonna roll this video now. He's driving. It's at night. He identifies right away that something fishy is going on there. And he pulls right up. Now, the bad thing about this, I'm going to pause it real quick. The bad thing about what he did was he got a little bit too close. Um, I would potentially try to identify this a little bit further in advance and uh, just see what's going on. Because obviously these guys have no business all standing in the street like that at a red light. Uh, if you notice, none of them are wearing uniforms. They're all in street clothes. It just looks highly suspicious. This is one of the things that you always hear about in you know travel security briefings and stuff like that is... If you're at a roadblock, hey, look for uniformity, look for uniforms in general, right? Are they wearing uniforms? Are their uniforms all matching? Are their weapons all matching? Uh, are they, if they have weapons, are they disciplined with their weapons? Are they having their finger on the outside indexing it? Or do they have the finger on the trigger, which is a dead giveaway of somebody who's more untrained? So things like that are a good indicator of a potential legitimate roadblock or false roadblock. Now they do have like barriers and some cones set up but not really in a legitimate way anybody who's ever been to like a dwi checkpoint or a border control checkpoint will know that there's a lot of advanced warning uh they really want you to be aware that you're going to have to stop you know maybe even a mile half mile down the road and doesn't didn't look like there was any of that so that's another dead giveaway here and it's all obviously there's no flashing lights on the trucks there's no you know, warning, it's no signs to say prepare to stop. So that's a dead <clears throat> giveaway as well. Let's resume the video and see what this guy does once he's confronted by a frontal barricade. So what does he do? He starts reversing. Good freaking job. You want to reverse as much as possible until you meet resistance behind you by traffic flow. And it looks to me like there's other cars behind him that are not really understanding what's going on. And he backs up as much as he can. Now he's got no choice. He has to go through the barricade. This car tries to block him. He goes around it. This car, this guy tried to jump in front of him. He threatened to ram through him, which is unfortunately kind of what we have to do. He was able to get away pretty easy. It didn't seem like they really thought this out too, too much. They were just going to try to block him half ass. And then if he stopped, he stopped. If he didn't, well, they'll move on to the next target, which is, again, why we harp on this stuff, why we do this stuff. If you are a hard target, they generally aren't going to waste too much time on you. They're going to wait until a soft or easier target comes along and victimize them. But now you guys know this stuff. You're going to be a little bit more of a hard target. Remember, if it doesn't seem right, you might want to think about getting away from it. And if your path of egress is blocked, well, you might have to go through it. I hope you like this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Throw a comment down below if you want more of this travel security type stuff. We've done a number of things like this before, and I do plan on doing more of them. So until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, mother flowers.